set up store, build and test, publish and update. In those four steps, you will be able to take your local Unity project and publish it on Google Play for everyone to download. Today we'll be publishing CoCodeApp, where you can vote for future videos and browse tutorials. Let's start by creating your Google Play developer account. Go to play.google.com slash console, you can also find the link under the like button, and start your registration process. First, you need to select if you're individual or a company, and then fill out some information about you. You will also need to pay $25 as an entry fee. It's a one-time payment, not a subscription. It will allow you to add multiple games and applications. Once you will be accepted to the program, you will be greeted with this screen. All we are interested in right now is the Create App button. Click it. On this screen, name your app, select default language, is your product an app or a game, is it free or paid, and finally, accept all required declarations. Click Create App. Perfect, now we have a draft of your app ready. Before we can send the build to the store, we firstly need to fill out some of the details. Google prepared a handy checklist with all the necessary steps to follow. Filling them out shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. Let's start with the first one, the privacy policy. You need to share how you plan to manage users' data, even if you do not collect anything. You can either paste a link to your existing policy or quickly generate and publish a new one based on my different video. Click save and go back. Then define your app access. If all of the features are available without any login, select first option. If login is required to unlock some functionality in your game, select the second option and add login and passwords that Google representatives will be able to use while testing your app. Save. Then let's speedrun those five options. Select if your app has ads. Next, generate content rating based on those simple yes and no questions. Then go through another questionnaire regarding target audience of your app. Select if you're a news or magazine app. If you're uploading a game, you should probably select no. And answer this question about the status of your app regarding contact tracking. Data safety is quite a tedious section to fill out. Based on those answers, people will be able to check what kind of data your app is collecting. If you do not use any analytics system in your game and you don't have any login, you are probably safe to select no in most questions regarding data collection. But if you are using any of those services or SDKs, you need to make sure what data you are collecting. Some services like Unity Ads offer help documents with information about what boxes you should tick. I will also link this helpful document, which outlines what options you need to fill out based on the services you are using. At the very end of this form, you should get a summary of your store listing data collection. Click Submit. Three more to go. Tell Google if you're a government app. Probably no. And then move on to your app presentation. Fill out the product type, category, and select applicable tags. There are many to choose from, so take your time. Then type in your email and website. The last item on our checklist is store listing. This is likely the most important part, as it is how people will discover your game for the first time. Enter a short and full description. The short description is what users see just under the screenshots. After clicking about this app, they will see the full description. Next, it's time to upload some graphics. Firstly, upload your square icon image. It will be displayed on the store page and in the search results. Then upload the feature graphic with the specified dimensions. It can be used by Google when they feature your game. And more importantly, when you add a video, this graphic will be used as a thumbnail. Then lastly, upload at least two 16 by nine screenshots of your game. I will soon show you a very simple way to generate them in Unity, so subscribe to not miss out. Once you uploaded all the images, just click save, 
And that's it. Now let's have some fun and get your game ready to submit to Google Play. Let's begin with Unity Hub. Go to the Installs tab and make sure that next to your Unity version there is an Android badge. If you can see it, click on the settings icon, select Add Modules and make sure to install those three options related to Android build. Now open your Unity project and at the very top select File, Build Settings. Before clicking Build, we'll need to do quite a few changes. Firstly, make sure that your target platform is Android. If you don't have Unity logo next to the Android, simply select it and click Switch Platform. Drag all the Unity scenes your game uses into this area, otherwise they won't be included in the build. Then go to the player settings. Here, firstly, input your company name and product name. Product name is the title of your game. It will be visible on the home screen and in the app drawer. Ignore version for now. Then change the default icon to the same file you uploaded to Google Play before. Make sure to add it to the project asset so it will show up. I will leave first three sections with the default settings, but I encourage you to check them out later. Now let's focus on the other settings section. Scroll down a bit and find the identification subsection. Make sure that the package name has the correct format. The scheme usually goes as follows com dot your company name dot name of your game, all in the lowercase. If you have a registered domain for your company, you can also name your package domain dot domain name dot name of your game. Leave 1.0 version or change it to 0.1 if you're planning to release beta first. Bundle version code should stay at 1. Then, very important, change target API level to at least version 32. At the time of recording this video, you can't upload games with the lower API versions, and as the time goes by, this requirement will be constantly changing. If you're unsure of the current requirement, I suggest selecting the highest one available. Next, Google Play requires us to upload games built in ARM64, but as you can see, it's unavailable. To fix that, change scripting backend to IL2CPP, and then this option will become available. That's it for this section, time to move to the publishing settings and set up our signing key. To generate one, click Keystore Manager, then in the open window select Keystore, Create New, Anywhere, and then click Save. Enter the password twice for the Keystore, and then create a new value for the game by providing an alias and the password twice more. Click Add Key. Perfect! These are all the settings we had to change in this window. Now close it, and in the Build Settings window, Check Build a Bundle Google Play and for Create Symbols select Public. The only thing left to do is to click Build, select a target location, I suggest creating Build folder in your project and saving it there. The building process may take a while, especially for the first time, so why don't you like this video and subscribe to CoCode before we move on to the next step. Ok, here is what Unity generates for us after successful build. ABB file, which contains your game, and symbol zip, which contains debug information. It is very useful to generate this file as well, because it will allow Google Play to give better crash information if such occurs. Now we'll apply this build to Google Play, but before publishing it to production, first I would like to show you the internal testing track. As the name suggests, pushing builds here will enable you to quickly test your game on your own or your friend's devices. First, let's define testers. If you want to add other users except you, click Create Email List, name it Testers, and enter Google account email addresses. Now, when testers are defined, we can go to the Releases tab and click Create New Release. Drag your APB file generated by Unity into this field. After a few seconds or minutes of waiting, click the small three dots 
and select Upload Native Debug Symbols. Select a zipped file this time. As you can see, the Google Play dashboard has automatically filled out the release name field based on the settings we defined in Unity. It then asks us for the release notes. For the first version, I will simply type Initial Build. Click Review Release and then start rollout to internal testing. Congratulations! Your app can be now downloaded from Google Play. Well, sort of. Only internal testers will have access to it. To share it with them, go to the Testers tab, copy the Join link and send it to yourself or your friends. On the device, you will need to click this link, accept invite, go to Google Play Store and finally download it. Please don't ignore the testing process. Your game may look different on a variety of devices, so take some time to test it on multiple phones. Once installed, it should open the downloaded app nicely. Now time for the most exciting part, making your game public. Go to the production tab. Before creating a new release, we firstly need to select in which countries our game will be published. Usually, you just click this small checkbox at the top to select all and submit. We then go to the releases tab and we are presented with the familiar interface. This time, we don't need to upload a game file again as it is already in your account library. We can just select it from there. Make sure that the release name looks about right, change your release notes, review release and start rollout to production. And now we need to wait. Google team needs a few days to check and accept your game. By default, once accepted, your app will be immediately live on the store. If you'd like to control the release date, go to the publishing overview and turn on managed publishing. When Google accepts your game, you will need to manually push it to production from this screen. It took me about three days to get accepted and now my Coco app is live on the store. Check out the description and vote for the videos you'd like to see on the Coco Code channel. Now the last part. Here are the steps to update your app once you make changes. In Unity, go to File, Build Settings and then in the Player Settings, change your version strings and bundle version code. The version string is up to you. I suggest incrementing the third number for some minor changes and fixes, then incrementing the second number after dot for bigger changes, and changing the number in front for major updates or redesigns. Then increment bundle version code by just one. This is very important because if you don't do it, Google Play will reject your update. In the publishing settings, make sure that custom key store is enabled and enter the passwords for the key store and project key. Once all of that is ready, press build and wait a few seconds for the file output. Then in the Google Play console, repeat the whole process. Create a new internal test release, upload app bundle and debug symbols, write down what has changed in the update and start rollout. After testing the build, instead of repeating the entire process, we can simply click Promote Release to Production. This will automatically fill out all the fields and we can begin the rollout. Check out the app we just published, my other tutorials and consider joining the amazing patrons who support this channel. See you soon!